Hi, brothers, this is in Christ. Today I'm going to be talking to you about why the Bible is inspired by God, divinely inspired, and evidence for it. But before I do, like always, I want to remind you to scroll down to the comment section of any of my videos because in the comment section, I have a long comment with evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, please examine the evidence I present and let me know what you think about it. If you're a Christian, I also encourage you to examine the evidence and I also encourage you to spread this evidence. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it on social media. And if you want to print out that evidence, I have a, I have a version of it that perfectly prints out on one sheet of paper. Um, if you want, you can leave me your emails and I can send you that copy and if you want to print it out. Also in the description box of all my videos, I have a message about the end times that I want you guys to check out. It has Bible prophecy, um, the coming events like the Antichrist, Obama, and things like that, the tribulation that I want you guys to see. Events that will soon to come to pass to say. And that's also in the description box of any of my videos. So you can go to the description box and comment section of this video. I saw God and this is what he said. Or you can go to the video of the one, the video you're watching right now. I'll also include it there. Now, to prove that the Bible is inspired by God, we have to look at how it has predicted the future over and over again. And one of my favorite prophecies to look at is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 53. This is a prophecy about the Messiah and how, and how the Messiah will be rejected, killed, and despised by men. So this was written over 700 years before Jesus was born. And we have evidence for this because we have the Dead Sea Scrolls which are thousands of years old and they and they date back to they date from 200 to, all the way back to 250 bc 200 to 250 bc that time that, that time frame and we have manuscripts of the book of isaiah that are that old so when someone asks how do you know that the bible has not been changed well we know the bible has been preserved like the books of the specific books of the bible have been preserved because we have manuscripts of it we have more manuscripts of the bible than we have for any other book in the universe and that's evidence that it has been preser preserved because the manuscripts the ancient manuscripts of the bible like i said which date back to all the way to 200 to 250 bc verify it with the modern christian bible so let's look at what isaiah 53 says and how i'm going to be showing to you how you can prove to someone that this is this prop that the bible is divinely inspired so let's start with verse 3 he was despised and rejected by men a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, and as one from whom the from whom men hid their faces. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his wounds we are healed. And we like sheep have gone astray and we have turned everyone to his own way. So when you come across a non-Christian and you want to prove to them that the Bible is from God, you can read them this prophecy and ask them, was this from the New Testament or the Old Testament? And you ask them, who is this talking about? And they'll tell you 99% of the time when you read that verse, but he was pierced for our transgressions. People will say, oh, that's talking about Jesus Christ. So if it's talking about Jesus Christ and this was written before jesus christ was born on earth and we have evidence for that because we have the dead sea scrolls and we have manuscripts of the book of isaiah from the dead sea scrolls we have evidence that the bible is divinely inspired because it has told the future and this is not the only prophecy i i, I wanted to focus on this prophecy because this is one of my favorite prophecies from the bible but the bible has over 2000 fulfilled prophecies if you go down to the comment section with evidence for christianity um i have a list one of the sections is 2000 plus fulfilled bible prophecies and i list a couple of bible prophecies and one of my also favorite bible prophecies how it shows its divinity is that um it talks about how the message of christianity or the message of the gospel will reach every single nation and this is such an important prophecy because jesus actually prophesied this before he was even crucified he prophesied that the gospel the message of the good news will reach all the nations and since we have and since we have um, 5,000 plus manu ancient manuscripts of the New Testament, we have astounding amount of evidence that what the what the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew that we have right now, it says exactly what the original book of Matthew said. So in this prophecy of how it talks about 
the message of the gospel will reach all the nations. Remember, Christianity started out with only a few dozen followers. And since Jesus prophesied that his message will reach those nations, and when it only started out with a few dozen followers and his prophecy came to pass, that's an astounding amount of evidence that Christianity is true. So read this comment, read the book of Isaiah. And like I said, you can ask someone, is this from the New Testament or Old Testament? And, and they might say, oh, it's from the New Testament because it's talking about Jesus, right? But you tell them, no, this is not from the New Testament. This is from the Old Testament that was written before Jesus was born. And it came to pass exactly how it said. So that's a great deal of evidence for Christianity because the Bible has predicted the future over and over and over again. So thank you guys for listening. And I pray that um, you guys use this tactic when you come across um, non-Christians and you, you, you show them love. You give them for evidence Christ for Christianity and all glory to God.